all right what's going on it's scott beams all right today we're going to be going over how to make dark soul vintage samples and flip them for artists like currency let's get straight into it all right so first things first we started at 118 bpm and i went to splice and then i found this trumpet loop Alright, so after that, I put it in the playlist and I chopped it up and that's what I came up with. Alright, so for my next sound, I got the rolling keyboards. Alright, so we're in the scale of D minor. All I did was put the bass note octaves apart from each other. And after that, I put the fifth, which is the A. And then on top of that, I put the D minor chord. And the ones up here are also basically the same, just strummed out. Just two D minor chords strummed out. The second bar of the loop, I just make half of the chords hit. And I raise the fifth note up a note, you know what I mean, to keep a little tension in there. You know what I mean, I just added a couple more notes of flavor. You know what I mean, and then this roll right here is basically the same flipped backwards for effects. So now that I have an EQ just taking out some of the lows. I have an R box just compressing it a little bit. And I have a Viola Vintage Reverb. All right, so next I went to Spice and I found this ambient loop. Then I went back in this place and I added this effect. All I have on that is a reverb. I added these strings from Splice. I went back in this place and I added this ARP loop. Alright, so after that I rendered it out and then I also took the BPM up to 128. I also pitched it up 300 cents and this is what it sounds like. I also added this drum loop. And for the effects on that, I have an NS1. I have an EQ on the radio preset. I have an R comp compressing it. I have a Good Hertz Fourth compressor, a Fruity Flangus, and I have a Valhalla Vintage Reverb. And I also use the EQ at the end. Alright, so after that, I got the sample. I put it in Fruity Slicer, and I went to Slicing, and I put it on Beat. Alright, and this is the sample chops I came up with.
Alright, now all you gotta do is add some bouncy drums. It's basically a trap beat. Alright, that's pretty much it for the beat, man. Hopefully you found something useful. If you did, man, hit that like button if I'm doing a good job. Make sure you comment below what you want to see next, and make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace and one love, you heard?